Cordoba Escalante, here, in front of the Blessed Virgin, the only witness of our love, I give you my eternal and pure love. Say yes, say you'll accept me and my life and the love I offer forever and ever. I do. Redamus Byzantianus, I accept you. I say yes. A million times before the Blessed Virgin, I will love you forever and ever. Redamus Byzantianus, I love you and promise myself to you. If I ever break my word, may God take my life as punishment. Orchidia Cordoba Escalante. I swear I love you more than anyone or anything in the world, more than myself. And if I ever break my vows of love to you, may God take my life and condemn my soul to eternal damnation. Woman, don't pull away. But someone may come in, sir. I'm scared about it. There are so many people here today, sir. The party's happening, and maybe they'll try. Oh, shut up, woman. I want to have you. That's all I care about. Let them celebrate out there and beg their God to solve their problems. I can solve all your problems. The only God who knows what you want is me, Teofilo Cordoba. Oh, yes, I am your God. I can give your children what they need and what you need, huh? So come on, woman. Forget what others think of you. Just worry about what I, your God, think of you. Hello. Oh, Hedia. Hi there. Can I offer you a drink? This sugarcane is fresh, wet and sweet. Definitely worthy of a woman like you. This beautiful child is yours? Yes. He's my son. Let me introduce you. Rodrigo Aravello Caballero. He'll also be your son. 
You will bring him up, Poquidia. He is beautiful. But if you're here to try and buy a babysitter, you're off track. Give your son that freshly cut juice. He'll enjoy it more than I would. It's not to my taste at all, Vladimir. It's much too bitter. I would just choke on it. I... I have so much love in my heart for you. I love you more than I've ever loved anyone. Please believe me. Whatever it is you want, I can provide it. Uh, there's nothing you could give me that I'd want. And there's nothing of mine you'll ever get your hands on. <sighs> okay, back to work, you little whore. I want you again later tonight. And put on some perfume. Maybe you'll perform better in round two, huh? But what about my husband? He... he won't like it. He'll be sent out on a job and won't know. He'll be collecting bricks from the warehouse miles from your shack. He'll be out all night. Don't you worry, my girl. Oh. Get out of here. I'm done. Yes. I'll see you again tonight, woman. This drink tastes sweet and spicy. Piquant like my little brown girl. <laughs> Pretty hot in the sack. But stupid as all get out. You're gonna have to wait a bit, my friend. I'm not ready. I'll decide when I'm ready to check out. I'm not at your beck and call. When my time comes, I'll be the one calling the shots. I must say, though, I think the dark forces are after me these days. They want me to start paying for all I've had in my bad life. Nevertheless, Orchidia must marry Vladimir Arevalo. And I'll do it today.
So, how's the bridegroom? Bridegroom? Which bridegroom do you have in mind? You don't mean Orchidia's groom. She doesn't want anything to do with me. When have I ever let you down, Vladimir? Hmm? Mm. I've told you you'll have her. I gave you my word. That princess will be your wife. I promise you, so trust me. Hmm? Ah, don't look like that. This isn't a funeral. Come on, cheer up. My god, this is a party. She's yours. Thank you, everybody. Thank you all so much. My dear friends, gather round. We are all here today to enjoy a celebration. To be together, to share good news. The first news is about our crops. We had a bumper harvest of sugar cane. Sweet and plentiful. Yet again, our rum will be the best in the world. The rum you see in front of you, this very product, is our best ever. The great Cordova rum. It's our exclusive reserve. And everyone here is involved. You all help produce it. My dear friends, I express my gratitude. Yeah! And now, my second news. It's about my daughter. And my heart fills with joy as I make this announcement. My darling young daughter, Orquidia Cordoba Escalante gets married today! She will marry Senor Arevalo. Vladimir Arevalo, son of our most prestigious family, and a man of great wealth. Don't do anything dumb. Everything in its own good time. Stay calm. marriages like this one out with the Ark. What are you trying to do to me, Mr. Teofilo? No, that isn't true. What is true is that your childish idea of romantic bliss is overdone, hot sex. After a few nights, endless years of boredom. What lasts the course is money. That's what really matters. Oh, and another thing, Papa. I uh, want you to call me Papa. But you're not him. I'm not going to marry that idiot Vladimir Aravalo. There's no way I'm going to go through with it. You can't make me either, can you? I won't... Give me a brandy. <laughs> Pay attention to what I'm going to say. I won't repeat it. My patience is running out on this issue. What do you expect from me? I understand that for you this is a terrific business deal, but I'm not a fool. Vladimir Aravalo is a very wealthy man. By marrying him, I make millions of dollars for you. However, you seem to have forgotten one thing. I'm not for sale. You're marrying him today, and that is the end of it. No. I'm not your property at all. I'm not something you can own or get to obey your every whim like a slave or a machine, and I won't marry him. I don't belong to you. I want Radamus Basanda. I love him. And I really don't give a damn whether you like that or not. I will not marry Vladimir Arovalo. I don't love him. I won't marry him today or ever. <laughs> Yes, you will. You'll marry Vladimir Arvalo. You'll marry him. 
or I'll kill you. Please help me, Hector. I don't want to marry Vladimir. I don't love him. I don't want him near me. Please, my brother, help me. Relax, relax. Come on, Orkidia. Come on, it'll be all right. Don't get so upset. Why are you making such a fuss about it? I see your point, but you'll get used to him after a while. Just relax. You're betraying me as well. You... Yes, you're betraying me as well. You think I can be treated like a puppy? Be made to dance up and down if you pull my strings? You believe that, don't you? Yes. You all expect me to bury all my pain and disappointment, don't you? And to squash my anger and abandon all my plans? My dreams for the future? Just because it makes life easier, you don't care if my life turns into a black hole? You know how horrible it would be for me, how I would die inside, how I would have to forget all my dreams. Hector, I won't do it. No one can force me. I won't allow it. I will not be turned into a dried flower for anyone. No, Hector, I will not. They cannot. I will not. Madame, is, I realize you may not like what I'm going to tell you. You're going to have to forget Orchidia, Cordoba, Escalante for your own good. Honestly, you must let her go, Radames. Forget her? Yes. No, Giacomo. I couldn't do that. I love her too much. I love her deep in my bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in deep. It's much worse than I realized. You'll only get hurt. I know I'm in deep. And I know I'll get in trouble as well, and I don't care. <sighs> but she's marrying somebody else today. She's another man's woman. Tell me how you'll stop the wedding you can't stand in the way of the people involved. But I... Uh... I'm just, just leaving, actually. Uh, so please excuse me, Radames. I'm here doing this because I have saved myself for you. My body has never been touched by a man before. I am yours and yours only. I swore to God in front of the Virgin Mary when I was a child that I'd be yours. And I shall keep that promise. Today, tomorrow, and always. Kiss me now and hold me tightly. I yearn to feel you. 
My body is ripe with love for you and tells me it's the day to make a baby. The child will be yours. Fill me with your seed and we will create a new life from your body and from mine. Wait till I find her. I'll give that young bitch a good beating. That fellow must be here somewhere as well. Maybe not, sir. People saw her down by the river. Let's look over there, sir. My God. Be quiet. Be quiet. Don't let him know we're in here, Adamas. He's a filthy old man, that Teofilo. He even tried to have sex with me himself when I was only 14, and now he's trying to use me as a bargaining chip, marrying me to Vladimir Aravalo just to make more money for his empire. Shh. <sighs> Has anybody here seen Radama's bus Santa? I've got to go. No, please don't go. I have no it. choice. I'm sorry. Radames. Very sorry. Radames, don't go. Radames. It's the tear field. Here in the cabin, we're here. Orkidia is here. No, for God's sake. Why are you doing this? No, for God's sake. You're betraying me as well as everyone else. What's the matter? Why do you do it? No, get, get your hands off me! No! No, get your hands off me! Thomas, nobody's to ever know what happened today. Don't utter a word to anyone. Okay? You're getting married today, you slut. So I'm come sorry. on and get ready for your new husband and no more fuss. Even though you're no longer a virgin. <laughs> Come on. Why are you doing come on. to me? Move it, come on! That damn is why! Walk, bitch! <laughs> Another witness. Well, anyone could do it, but I have someone special in mind. I want a particular person's signature on that. Excuse me. Of course. Come in. Adamus Basanta has been a good and loyal employee to my family. And that's why I offer him this privilege today. The honor of signing this document. The wedding certificate of my daughter. I'm not your daughter. I do know that. Radamas and my daughter love each other like brother and sister, always have done. That's why I believe it's important that he be here as the witness on the day my beloved daughter gets married. So let's sign. Please take the pen. I have my own pen, thank you. A sign is sealed with the blood from my own body.
side with your left hand. The hand that's closest to your heart, you rat. I believed you when you told me you'd love me forever. I've believed it ever since I was a child. You swore we'd be together forever and you'd never touch another woman nor let another man touch me. You're a lousy coward. Good for nothing, wastrel. In your anger, you're more beautiful. Yet I know all this is wrong. She's right, Giacomo. I'm nothing but a coward. A lousy coward. I killed that innocent love that she offered me, the innocent love of a tender virgin. I killed her love for me. I handed her a life of misery. I signed her happiness away to Vladimir Aravello. I signed away all the passion she had for me to another man. I let Tiafilo take my power away. He treated her as if she was nothing but a whore, someone fresh off the streets. And I even went to the wedding. I did it to myself. Right when she came to me to share her first love, she came to give me her innocence and purity, a young girl becoming a woman. She'd been saving herself for me all these years, since childhood. Her innocence. It was her first time. She would experience the passion of a loving man. She offered me pure and total love, and I turned it down, Giacomo. But listen, you didn't have any alternative, Radames. Well, I do now. I'm going to get her. I'm going to find her and take her away from this horrible mess I put her in! Just who are you going to take away, you snake? All of a sudden, you're consumed with being a savior. Some sort of knight in shining armor. Rescuing a damsel in distress, ready to slay any man who gets in your way and wants your princess. Huh? No, don't! Hey, come in here. Murder me. Murder me! Murder me! Murder me and see if I care. It's the only way you'll stop me from going to Orchidia, because that's where I'm going. Murder me! I'm going to Come rescue down, her! Adamus. There's no need to kill you. You have very little value either way, so why bother? No way. But I know this. You value little George, don't you, little man? Hello there! Did you do what I asked you? Of course I did. Here she is as promised. See for yourself. The tramp is here. <sighs> Fredamus. This is all my fault. No, no. It's not all your fault. That Tiafilo Cordoba. He's a sick man with no heart. Georgie, where is our son? Tiafilo has taken him, Redamus. Please, Radamus, he's going to kill our son if you don't promise to do whatever he tells you. She understands the situation. You see, Radamus, I have stolen your son. And if you don't get the hell out of my life, I shall kill him. Orchidia has married Vladimir Arivalo. You back off and he need never know about the past. He need never know that you are with my daughter. Radamas, you have to understand that your relationship with Orchidia is totally over. History. An old story. If you don't accept that, then as adios to your son. And as for your slut here, 
Well, she could also disappear. No one raises an island over the death of a prostitute. Eh, yeah, come on. And I trust you'll keep quiet. There's so much money for those who please me. Thank you, Mr. Teofilo. Uh, Promise, no! Way. Freeze! He who kills will be killed. I know you'll pay for this, Teofilo Cordoba. That sort of kindergarten thinking depends on who does the killing. I have the power. All of it. Please don't reject me as well. You can't be like the others and just stand by as my life is handed to these men. For God's sake, Bernardo, help me out of this nightmare. Don't abandon me to my okay, disgusting husband and evil stepfather. It's impossible. Tio Filo has the whole house surrounded by guards. You don't stand a chance. I want you no, no, to No, 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 no. Stay calm. Just relax and don't make matters worse than they are. Shh, 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 shh. Relax, relax, relax. That's it. Shh, shh, shh. Just try to calm down. It's the best in the long run, yes. Put on this nightgown. Your husband is on his way here. No, I do. No, no, no. Don't do that, Arcadia. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I don't like it. I won't wait. No, 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 no. To hell with it. There's no way I'll do anything to please that pig. We can forget any of these ideas. No, no, I don't want to. I absolutely refuse to let that disgusting animal anywhere near my body. I won't let him lay down beside me. I hate him, I hate him. You can help me get out of this. Why don't you do it? I don't deserve this. I never did any harm or hurt anybody in my whole life, did I? I'm not wicked. I'll do anything if you just get me out of this situation. Just get me out of here. Don't leave me here like this. Orkidia, I can't. I you can't. you must sorry, help me. Miss, just tell me I what could, to do. Don't I leave me like this. Like or I'll go to me. I've looked after you since you were a child. You're like a daughter to me. Do you think I like to see that happening? I know you detest the idea of what you have to endure, but it's your destiny. I can't stand in the way of that. You suffer and stand by helplessly. I have to obey orders, dark orders from hell. I'll live in the shadows. I can't fight destiny, Orkidia. It's no good saying that I can. No. So you're betraying me. No! You are. Orkidia! Orkidia, are you there? You're not helping me! You're not helping me! I can't. I'm powerless. In that case, I want nothing more than your dull old eyes to go quite blind. But your mind becomes clearer than it ever was and you feel every second of my suffering. But you can't see me. You'll know I suffer. And you'll feel me all around you. In your hell, you'll feel my scorn. Well, if that's to be my <laughs> destiny, so be it. You have to accept yours. Good evening, Mr. Arvarbello. <laughs> I don't like that man at all. <laughs> you look like... Baby rabbit, you're all scared. No, no, don't be scared of me. No, 
Oh, don't you dare touch me a million times. Don't touch me. I won't be touched. I'm your husband, Arcadia. I have the right to touch you. I have the right. I can touch you. I have the right. I can do whatever I like to, whatever I like. I own you and you do what I say, you understand? Get off me, you filthy animal. I won't let you near me, so go away from me. You make me sick. Listen to me. I want you to hate it. That's the only way I can enjoy myself. That's why I want you as my wife. I knew you'd never want me so I could rape you every day. <laughs> What do you want with me, Bernardo? Shut up! Shut up! Kneel in front of her, Radamas Bazanta. Kneel! Okay, get out. Look at my body, Radames Masanda. Look at it good. When I first offered this body to you, it was untouched pure. Because I'd save myself for you. Like in the fairy tales where the princess saves herself for her prince. But take a look at these breasts now. Bruised and bitten by the filthy lust of the monster you threw me away to when you sold me out. Look at my lips. They'll never stop being tortured by the husband I hate. They'll damn your name. Then look down to my stomach. My body tells me that I'm pregnant. Not by you, the man I love, but by a man I detest. child will be unloved. I'll hate it. I won't look at it and be able to see your smile or your eyes. It won't have your curly hair because it isn't yours. We made our promise to the Virgin Mary. We'd love each other forever. We swore in front of God our eternal love. We promised him we'd die before betraying each other. We made our love promise to be together forever, and what have you done? Please stop it, Orchidia. I'm dying. You're killing me with this. You're killing me with all of this. You're killing me. I will have years to cry for us both. And you will have years where you'll be reminded of me every day. Oh, yes. Bernardo, come here! Take him to the fire. Well, don't just stand there! Put up his left hand. 
That's it. Oh my God! What are you doing, Alkedia? What are you doing? With the blood of your left hand, you promised me love. And with your left hand, you handed me to Teofilo Cordova. And with that very same left hand, you abandoned me to the lust of Vladimir Areva. You were witness at my wedding and signed me over to him with your left hand. Your left hand is a betraying hand, and the man I love cannot have an ounce of betrayal in him. There's only one way out. Your left hand must go! Hold him tight. Over here. Rogelio! Rogelio! Come over here, come on. Stay with the rest of us. Stand next to your sister Rosalinda. Come on, come on. That's right, come you on. little twit. We have to stand together. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? I was just looking at your Cheeto, Papa. He's been keeping that promise he made for a sick son ten years ago. Beautiful, isn't it? Not really. That's how it has to be. Religion before everything else. He's just doing the right thing. Yeah, that's right. I know, Papa. That's right. Where's Aurelio? Aurelio! Aurelio! I'm here, Papa. Come over here, son. But I don't want to. Well, you have to anyway. Come on. Come on. Stay with us. Don't wander off. What a child. He's so stubborn. Well, let's move on a bit. Yeah, people are moving on. Nothing matters any more to me, Orchidia. Uh, or maybe it does. A noble and beautiful heart such as yours has turned into a vulture's heart. Tearing at the dead flesh of what was once vibrant with life. Cruelty and violence now steer your once innocent soul. 
Why didn't you let me bleed to death, Orchidia? No, I don't want you to bleed to death. I want you to have a long and painful life haunted by hideous memories of me. I was blackmailed, Orchidia. Your stepfather, Mr. Teofilo Cordoba. He kidnapped my son, Georgie. He threatened to kill him. If I tried to prevent your marriage to Vladimir Aravello. You... You mean you have a son? With who? With Francisca Salazar. You betrayed me for a prostitute? You see, I knew you wouldn't understand. That's why I never told you of her. Don't grovel there, whinging Radamus. However much you dress it up, it's a cheap and tawdry story of lust. Let him go. Live, Radamus Basanta. Live on. Live just to feel my talons tearing your heart out every day. Try it. We're gathered together on this beautiful coast. Tonight, the Virgin Mary blesses us with her presence. Come with me, Rosalinda. How can I go with you? Of course not. What do you think my father would say? Listen, okay, I'll meet you later, say in about half an hour, all right? And don't be late. I hate waiting. Yes, I'll be there. I, I love you, my darling. Look, don't start on that now, Hector. I have to get back to oh, my please, father. Please, please, stay, you Rosalinda. you should be praying. Come on, stop it. And now we beg for the Blessed Virgin's love with a novena to bless our fishing boats and our fish, which will give all our families plenty to eat and bring prosperity and peace to all the inhabitants of Sandamia. We offer thanks to the Lord and the Virgin Mary. Is this place where the woman lives? It is. 
She lives alone? I think so. She has kids. They live with their granny. Because Senya's a bit gaga, she handed over the responsibility of raising them to their grandmother. I think so anyway. Brilliant. They're there. Mr. Tiafilo and Senya. Excellent. Let's do it now. They'll never escape from there. Come on, get cracking. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Company me tonight. Pray to God nobody's followed me or I'll be in serious trouble with my father. <laughs> Since when do mermaids come out to stare at the stars? What for? Among all those shining stars, there's none so beautiful as you. Look, dear. My love. My heart. My life. Get me my pills, quickly, Senia, quick! What are you talking about? Get off! Get out of here! Get out! Oh, it's my heart! It hurts! We'll, we'll die here! Come on, get out! Come on, get out of here now! Oh, my God! My heart! My heart! Oh, my heart. Philo, like the animal you are. Die in agony, like an animal. be met by the devil at the gates of hell. Let's go. Orchidia. Orchidia. It was her. Oh. Virgin are my witnesses, I shall beat you to death. Beat you till the last drop of blood falls. The last little drop empties from your body and you curl up and drop dead. Evil, <coughs> don't you? Evil! <coughs> Not my child! Please, Mr. Bartholomew. I'm in love with your daughter. Be gone, swine! Do you know what happens to playboys like you? 
There are men who deal with human trash who play around. You could be killed for deflowering my poor innocent daughter. No, Papa, Papa, you got it all wrong. It's not like that. Listen to me, Papa. And who do you think you're calling Papa? I don't have a daughter. Dodo, what are you talking about? My unfortunate daughter was murdered. She was killed by the servant of sex, who turned love into shame and humiliation. And now you are a blot on our name. The miserable stain of a cheap whore. No, 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 stop. <laughs> stop me. No more, please. I'm pregnant. Two months pregnant with Hector's child. What? I'm carrying a child. Your grandchild, Hector. I'm two months now. I'm sorry. My little girl's gone now. My little girl. Now pregnant by a wretched playboy with a rich father. Oh God. Of course, he'll never marry her with your lousy luck, Bartholomew. Your luck really stinks. It's a disaster. <laughs> I love her, Mr. Bartholomew. Believe me, I tell you, I love her. So you go with her. Take her back to my house. I'll be waiting for you. And there we'll discuss all this. Tell you straight, young man. If I have to kill myself over this, I'm ready to. I intend to keep my family's good name, like it's always been. If I have to tidy up my affairs, just tell me. I understand your fears. Yes, it's true I came from a family with a lot of money. Yes, That's yes, I know all of that, I know. Are you saying my daughters are nothing? Can't ever be a part of that great family? No, 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 no. Your daughter will be my wife. I'm going to marry her and I'm not lying to you. I beg you both to believe me. Your daughter and your grandchild will want for absolutely nothing. Well, what can I say? I believe you because you say, but... But you be very careful not to go back on your words, young man, in the future. Because if you do, then you'll feel the full wrath of lying to Mr. Bartholomew. And now, woman, bring us a bottle of the best rum, hmm? I'm going to drink a toast to the young fellow. And go and cook some fresh fish for him as well. I know he would enjoy that. Hi there, Vicente. I'm glad you're here. I want you to take these fresh fish in. Yes, Mr. Hector, but I... I, I have something to say to you. These are my father's favorites, you know. Oh, dear Hector. Has he had breakfast yet? 
Oh, please listen, Hector. Your father isn't... He isn't here. At this very moment, they're... They're burying him. He's dead, Hector. What? I'm sorry, Hector. He died early this morning. There was a fire at some shack. No one knows why he was there or, or what exactly happened, but he was burned to death. support for all who passed his way. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. May he rest in peace. Shame, have you none at all? It can't be true. Please tell me this isn't really happening, Arcadia. Let me go there. I will not. Shut up. That's alcohol. Where have you been? Having it off with a prostitute, right? While we needed a man here to help put the fire out. You were getting laid with this dirty prostitute, I can see. Look at this. Look what happened to me. I was trying to put out the fire and save your father. Why are you turning on me like this? Why? Because you were always his pride and joy. You should have been the one there putting out the fire. You should, Hector. Because he didn't stop calling your name, Hector, while he was trapped in the flames, he called your name. You should be the one with this burr. It's your scar. You should suffer it, not me. Hector, it's okay, my friend. Okay, calm down. Get yourself together now. She's right. I should have saved my father's life. I should have. It was an accident, Hector. There's nothing anybody could have done. I'm glad you're both here because I have something important to say. Hmm. Whatever you want. Why the serious face? Shut up, Vladimir. What do you want? Who's the female? Don't play dumb with me. You know full well she's Rosalinda, who's clearly pregnant. It's eight months. And the baby is mine. Oh my. How can you be so certain? Especially considering the woman. The woman as you refer to her is the woman I love. And she'll live in this house. Really? Who decided that? I decided it as my father's son and heir. I agree with Hector. Orchidia, your brother has the total right to do that. It is his family house, after all. If you can't think of anything intelligent to say, I suggest you say nothing. As my brother, and this creature here, I have no problems with his wishes. These are not just my wishes. 
You're crazy, Arcadia. I give the orders round here. There is a free cabin. It's the light green one. She can stay in there. What is this, Orchidia? What's with the green cabin? Who the hell do you think you are to send Rosalinda to the green cabin? She's preparing to give birth to our child, and she and I are having a baby. Why the hell don't you go and live in the green cabin yourself? Hector, I think I'd better leave. I didn't come here to be humiliated by anyone. When it's all cleared up and, and you know where I can live, then you can tell me about it and I'll come over and settle in. It's better that way. No, don't go, Rosie. It's all right, really. No, I know I'm poor, but I have my pride and my dignity. I'm leaving. No, wait, Rosalinda. This is my house. My father left Look, it to me. I'm in charge, not my sister. I'm going. Rosie, Rosie, wait! You have no right at all to offend her like that. Even less right to throw her out. You're my sister. I've always given you all the freedom and money you need to run this household. It's one thing, going shopping, buying food and running the house. You get to decide all that goes on here. But it's quite another thing to go above my authority. Uh, oh, so you believe that you give the orders around here, Hector? I am the man of the family. I am the man of the family and what's more, my father's only heir, Orchidia. I own everything. I give the orders and people do what I say, do you understand? Bernardo! Coming, Orchidia. Yes? Just do this. Get everyone together. I want you to have them all go into the back garden immediately. Now, Bernardo. Right. <clears throat> what are you doing, Orchidia? Stay tuned and I'll show you. Namarita, come over here. What is it, madam? Tell me, Ramarito, who is the boss around here? Well, it's Mr. Hector. But uh, we do what you demand. Um, excuse me. You see? Benavides, Pedro. Please, would you tell my brother who is the boss around here? Well, he is. He is the heir. The only one. But like the guy said, he is the boss, but we do whatever you tell us, man. One moment, just one moment. You're just asking all your old favorites. I want to ask everyone here. Who is the boss here? Is it me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yeah. yes. Sir. Raise your hands if you think it's me. There you go. You're not asking the right question. Nobody doubts that you're the boss. Nobody. Nobody. What we're asking here is, which of us gives the orders? Who has the power? Who do they obey? The question's very simple. The question is, whose orders do they obey, mine or yours? Lift up your hands. Those who obey me, and no one but me. You see, my dear brother, if you're certain you've really made up your mind, and you insist on bringing Rosalinda Vargas, I'm telling you she'll stay in the green cabin next to the pigs. So what? What's the difference?
This is what they call a true coup d'etat, right? My dear sister Orchidia just gave me a true coup d'etat. She turned me into a puppet. Into a facade. But this war has just begun. Calm yourself down, Josefa. Calm down now. You know that Bartolome Vargas is a good sailor. He'll be back safely, you'll see. He will. He's probably caught a lot of fish and went to the fish market to sell them all. Oh. No, then. no, my friend. Too many hours have gone by. Whenever Bartolome goes out fishing, he always comes back before dawn. I don't know, but I have a feeling he won't come back. I have a feeling he won't come back. Don't say that, Mom. He'll be back. Papa always comes back. Always. Oh, he's not. No, you'll be fine. No. What's going on? Mama? What's wrong? What are you crying about? Oh, Rosalinda. But told him he went fishing and he hasn't come back. He hasn't come back to us. It can't be. It is. The ocean took him. The ocean took Don't him. Don't say that, Mama. It can't be. Orchidia, you can't humiliate Rosalinda like that. You don't have the right. Rosalinda must feel bad. Mr. Hector, how are you? Okay, I guess. What's going on? Men digging holes, repairing the road, you know. About time. Yeah, you're not kidding. Well, drive carefully, Hector. Sure will. See you. Okay, Rapif. Not at all. I'm a nervous wreck. Come with me. I can't, my friend. I'm going to San Damien. Another time. Listen, Mr. Hector. Rapif is not joking. I'm very serious about this. It's a matter of life and death. Come on. A matter of death? Yes, indeed. Who's dying? Listen, just come with me. Come on, let's go. In your car. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Hector. Don't stand there like a stuffed dummy. Be careful! Don't go racing around these roads with these newfangled cars! They're dangerous, huh? Do you see my pathetic burned face and body? They're burned to death. And pretty soon my mind is going to follow them to an early grave. I know I'm dying. And it's the best thing. I, I should have died with your father, Teofilo Cordoba. Then I wouldn't have had to endure these six months of agony. I'm very sorry this happened, but how can I help? There's no way to help me. I'm already buried. No, no, no. It's me who wants to help you. 
I want that. I want to tell you that that Arcadia is a murderess. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Your father and I were making love, and she set fire to the ranch. Your father suddenly had a heart attack. I did try, but I couldn't save him. You. Are you absolutely sure of what you're saying? Oh, uh, Mr. Hector. I'm lying in my deathbed. This, this isn't the time to be lying. In that case, rest in peace. You shall die just like my father. Die in a burning hell. But the last thing you'll see will be my face. thousand times don't touch me for god's sake who do you think you are snow white we've been married for six months and you never let me near you i can't touch you i can't kiss you i can't do anything with you well, how many times do i have to tell you that i'm your husband i already know it orchidia i prefer you didn't remind me you're going to have my child orchidia yes and a sad and horrible memory of rape that is i raped you i, I raped you <gasps> i love you i've loved you like i've never loved any other woman i love you Look, don't you understand that I have a husband's right? Don't you know I'm filled with love inside me? I have enough for both of us. Why can't we be happy? Jeez, have you finished? I've got things to do. Listen, when I came to this house, when I married you, I brought a lot of money. Much money. Of course you brought money. I wasn't available in a bargain basement. It was a financial transaction, and I was the merchandise. Hector's right. You want to own everything. You want to wear the pants in this house. You want to become the man around here. You want to give the orders! You! You're going to respect me, Orcadia. You're going to respect me as a man. You'll respect me as your husband. You're going to obey me, Orcadia. You'll learn to do what I say. When I say it, in the way I tell you! In that case, you excuse for a husband. Why don't you show me some sign that you're a real man, not an adolescent? Or perhaps take a pistol and kill me? Or why don't you just take a rope and hang me? Why not? I assure you, I couldn't care less if you kill me today, Vladimir. Big sissy. Yes, I'm a woman. But I know one thing. I wear the pants better than you ever will.
Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't have the power to take on Arcadia. I love her. I love her. I love her too much. Oh, God. Arcadia. Arcadia. You'll pay for this death. You'll pay for every burn strand of hair on my father's head with your own blood. A violent hour is here. Now is the time for revenge. <laughs> 